Hey, how do you doodly do? In the last few episodes I was sailing with friends on the Lipari catamaran named See Me Smile. In this episode I will take you on a road trip through Lofoten. Lofoten offers so many picturesque views just staying on the main roads and honestly there are way too many of them to make stops every time you see something pretty. So I mounted a camera on my car and I sometimes just held it in my hand while driving and I did stop at some very pretty pretty places too. So let me show you some amazing sceneries. Come along! Just a heads up before we start, these videos are produced by me on my free time without any major funding. If you would like to support, then please help me spread them by sharing, commenting, subscribing and liking them. That really means a lot to me. If you would like to offer financial support, you may join as a channel member right here on YouTube or head on over to patreon.com slash sailmermaid and get early access on upcoming episodes. Crap! Yeah, he's aggressive to watch me. I'm probably too close to his nest. I'm at an extremely beautiful place here in Lofoten called Gaina. And uh, the nature surroundings here. Oh well, I don't think you can get much better than this. Problem is, I wanted to fly the drone, but it's too windy, so... I don't think I'm gonna do that, but look at this, isn't that something? Very typical for Lofoten are these small fishermen's cottages everywhere. Now that Lofoten is no longer invaded by fishermen with small rowboats, these fisherman cottages have been upgraded and modernized and are now rented out for tourists. It really is amazing how popular Lofoten has become as a tourist destination in Norway. It is a really long drive up here if you come from Central Europe by car, but German sports fishermen will not be stopped. Having daylight 24-7 and living above the sea really appeals to them. There is also a lot of American tourists normally, but this year, due to the pandemic, most tourists were domestic. I have a feeling that the not-so-friendly seagull has spotted me already and is waiting for me to attack. There he is. This is the narrow bridge we could not sail under as it is only 18 meters high. It goes from Reine to Sakrisø, a small island in the entrance of Reinefjord with a very nice restaurant. I think that someone actually lives in that house. What a view!
In this restaurant you can also buy locally produced fish products and snacks made from cod. Personally, I believe you cannot go to Lofoten without having a fish soup. So that was my choice of the day. And may I say, I am very fond of fish soup, so they had something to prove now. Ain't that the perfect picture? You can't go to Lofoten without eating a fish soup, right? So, let's enjoy that. Mm, that was good. Mm. Yes. They know how to do it. Mm. Brilliant soup. Mm. Right after leaving Irainé, you pass through these small tunnels. They are open to the seaside, so while they offer protection from whatever slides down the mountainside, be it snow or stone, you still have a view and don't get that claustrophobic feeling. Like many places in Norway, roads are small and winding, and the tourist traffic can be a nightmare. Luckily, I was there early before the tourist season set in. What is very different from most other places in Norway is that you don't drive up in the mountains in Lofoten. You simply drive around them just above sea level. Getting behind one of these campers may be a nightmare, but luckily some camper van drivers will let you pass. Oh, <laughs> I almost forgot, I'm one of them now. I just keep forgetting while I press the pedal to the metal. <laughs> What is very special for Lofoten are all these stacks of fish hang to dry everywhere. Just look here how many we are passing by in just a few hundred meters. Can you imagine having a beach like this? So white, so beautiful. And there's not many days every year that it's warm enough to be swimming there. Now it's the 11th of June, so it's early in the summer. The sun is shining, there's just a slight breeze. But still I have to wear long sleeves and a jacket because it's cold. I actually found out later that a former colleague of mine got married on this beach.
What a beautiful place. Absolutely stunning. Yes, I'm not in the Maldives. I'm not in the Mediterranean. I'm in Northern Norway. And the water is turquoise. Everything is right, except from the temperature. Every day is a sunny day in Lofoten. But it's still nice. There are girls out riding their horses on the beach. It's beautiful. But as you can see, clouds are way down in the mountains now. Yes, I'm at Lofoten Beach Camp and uh, this is the first really rainy, cold night I've had in uh, over a week I've been in Lofoten. Uh, you can see there's a lot of people who's been tenting. Uh, more tents over here. And I haven't seen a single soul yet and it's 11 o'clock in the morning. So uh, people are sleeping in. It's uh, cold and chilly and you don't really want to crawl out of your uh, sleeping bag. But I'm going to move on. There's more places to see. The observant viewer will now see that this video started in Reine and is ending in Nussfjord, the exact opposite of the previous video, but then we travel by boat. If you want to see more from Nussfjord, I do recommend you check it out. Join me again next time when we'll be visiting Glashytta, where we are invited to see glass blowing. If you enjoyed this video, it would mean the world to me if you would subscribe, like, and leave a comment as I love to read them and try my best to reply. Thank you to all my patrons who support me financially. If you want to join for early access, please head on over to patreon.com slash sailmermaid. And a very special thank you to my gold supporter, Harvey Engvart. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.